Welcome to my review of the TFZ or TFZ Deco one or Deco one. This is a Type C to 3.5 uh, audio adapter. As usual, the disclaimer is this was sent to me from the the TFC official store. All the thoughts and opinions are my own, and obviously I was not paid anything for this video. And let's get into it. It's just a normal kind of Type C to 3.5 audio adapter, or the dongles as you call them. So mine is the red one that I picked. The model, as you can see, is the Deco one. The actual shell is metal. Beyond naive, which is kind of a strange kind of motto, but that's what it is. So let's open it up. You don't really get any accessories at all. So just pop it out of the case. You only get the actual foam kind of packaging and a bit of information on there, which I'll show you more in a second. So Realtek ALC 4050, 32-bit to 384 kHz, which is fine. I'm not sure what the 130 millimeters. I guess it's length. Well, 13 centimeters. iOS 10, Android 4, and Windows 10. I've tried this on my uh, PowerCore F2 Pro, works fine. And I've tried it on Windows 10, which is fine as well, which I'll show you in the next clip. It works fine, and that, that's it really. Not much to actually show in this sector. Just pop it out. Uses a Brady cable. It is at the either end is metal construction. Quality seems good. And yeah, on to the actual Windows 10 settings. No. So this is what it looks like in Windows 10. Uh, this is under the recording tab. Ignore the one here that says USB audio codec. That is the microphone I'm using to actually record this, so ignore that. But this is the one here, the default device, the KM Hi-Fi 384 kilohertz. That's the actual TFZ. So I'm not sure what KM stands for. Let's, let's, this is what it would look like. Click properties, uh, levels. This was at 100%, so make sure you do lower it to the suitable microphone or whatever you're using it with. But it was at 100, so I did lower it. Advanced it comes with a two channel 16 bit 48 kilohertz, which is fine for microphone, which is enough. That's quite high. Click OK. Playback. So, this is the actual output part. Obviously, ignore everything else that's from my computer. But this is the one. So, click again KM Hi Fi 384. Click properties, levels. Mine was mine again was hundred percent. So make sure you do lower it before you play anything, because you you will either damage your hearing or earphones. So make sure you lower it to suitable device. And the, also the inline controls do control Windows. So my test earphones are the Xiaomi Pro HD because I have an inline mic. Two, they're a little bit harder to power, which is a good test. And three, they actually have three buttons on the controls. So they've got volume up, down, and play, pause, and all works perfect in Windows 10. And then, yeah, so yeah, you click advanced. Obviously, you can pick from all that. It's there, two channel, 32-bit, 384, which is what it's advertised to be there. It's kind of overkill, but it does, it, obviously, in Windows 10, you can do all this. And spatial sound is off, so make sure that's off. And that's it. Go back to recording to quickly show you that again. Click properties, levels, advanced, and that's it. Now on to the actual review section. As you can see in Windows 10, it works perfectly fine. There's everything that it's supposed supposed to do. On Android uh, 11 I think my phone is again it works perfectly fine the build quality seems good overall it does everything that it's intended to do just 32 bit up to 384 kilohertz like it's supposed to I don't know what actual overall you know how well it's supported on mobile phones but I guess it should work on everything it uses the ALC 4050 chipset which is a known real tech chipset 
It's really kind of hard to fault because it does everything it's supposed to. The build quality seems good. It's got strain reliefs, uses braided cable. It supports inline controls. Uh, I've seen inline microphone. I've seen Windows, it's got, it seems to have plenty of power. No issues with latency or anything like that, even though it's not Bluetooth. It seems to be a good implementation of the DAC. Uh, with the 4050, the real tech chip seems a really seems a good enough um, implementation. Sound quality is good. There's no hiss in the background. It seems neutral in its sound signature. So that's kind of hard to fault. It's kind of it. It does everything that it's actually supposed to design to do. Looks like there's no drivers for under under Windows 10. If you're an older device user like I have my laptop. And it doesn't come with an adapter, a USB-C to tie a USB-A, but that's not really a big deal. But yeah, on to the conclusion. So my conclusion of the actual TFZ or TFZ uh, Deco or Deco one, it works as intended. There's no, I have no real issues. Windows 10 works fine, and my mobile phone works fine. Seems to have plenty of power. I didn't go beyond 50 or 60 percent because that was easily loud enough you don't really need any more for iems it seems perfectly fine there's no real hiss it does everything it's supposed to do works with microphones and inline controls i try to my xiaomi pro hd the buttons work all of them and the mic works and that's it thanks for watching and take care